Good morning, all my kids. I'm Auntie Kara, and this is Auntie Kara's Storytime. Today, I'm going to be reading to you from the Worrysaurus, which is written by Rachel Bright and Chris Chatterton. It's a really good one with a really great message to it. I'm excited to read it today. Um, but first, I wanted to say a very special hello to my friend Jack, who also loves dinosaurs, so I know he loves this book. I hope you are doing well, and I miss you, and I hope to see you soon. I also wanted to show you guys something that's very special to me. Um, this piece of art was made by one of my students many years ago. I'll hold it up a little closer. And it's made with natural items and put in a lovely little frame for me. And I really treasure it. It's been on my wall ever since. So for all my kids that are watching this, just know that if you make me art, it will be appreciated and I will hold on to it. I'm going to put this down where it will be safe. I don't want anything to happen to it. Well, we dive in to the worry source. On a hot and sunny morning under lovely clear blue skies, a little worry source was opening his eyes. He brushed his tiny pointy teeth, then washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on a trail. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sand and thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched, and planned. A lovely yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread, where Isaurus liked it best when he knew what lay ahead. But he hadn't gotten far, you see. It hadn't been that long before his busy head dreamed up some things that might go wrong. Had he made enough to eat today and brought enough to drink, this worry source often was the one to overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowing to a shuffly, snuff, a snuffly, shuffly crawl. Worysaurus liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected happenings, they made him feel quite scared. So when, suddenly, from nowhere, a li lizard skittered by, shouting in a squeaky yelp and pointing at the sky, I think a storm is coming, I heard it's on its way. Well, that really put a cloud above his Worysaurus day. A storm, said Worrysaurus, when it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that flittered in his tummy. I'm not ready for the rain, he said. I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter and his knees, they turned to jellies. And all the while the sky was blue, the sun it shone and shone. And now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely gone. Should he find a cave to shelter or run back home and hide? His little worry butterfly grew sh very strong inside. But then he thought of something that his mummy liked to say. Oh, my little worry Saurus, chase that butterfly away. Don't you worry now, my lovely. You must try not to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It had happy things within. A special stick, his teddy bear, a pebble, and a letter. And he held them one by one, so everything felt better. Then he put away his tin and all the worries in his head, freed his little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll stand up tall, I can be strong, I'll chase my fears away. All is good and all is well, and everything's okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since when the sun is shining, why worry, it will rain. So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun, and they laughed at all their worrying and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run or hide. And then the only butterflies will be the ones outside. 
And that is the end of The Little Worrysaurus. Such a cute story. I hope you loved it, and I hope it touched your hearts. I will see you guys next week for more stories with Anna Kara. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you love this video. Ta-ta for now.